speaker here uh, is uh, no guest to us at all. Not only is he a member of our church, he is an active member and, and an active member of our worship team. Um, and so Chris Moore the third is going to bring this morning's message. He is not only an Eagle Scout, uh, he finished with his Eagle Scout program in 2021, uh, which was just a year, I believe, or so before that troop disbanded. We were trying to get all the scouts through Eagle before that troop disbanded, and he was one of those. And so, Chris, we are proud of you for that. You'll notice the two, two, show us the 222 patch on, on your arm there. There we go. He's one of us, um, and, and, and we, are, we are proud of him. Uh, but also, obviously, Chris brings so much more talent to this congregation week in and week out with his singing. Um, but uh, uh, Chris is a graduating uh, uh, senior from Mount Cells uh, High School as of this year. I asked him, I said, I know that you've been accepted into college somewhere. Tell me where you're at. He said, I've been accepted into five colleges. Uh, and he said, but I have not yet made my decision as to where to go. And so I know that we are all anxiously awaiting to hear that to celebrate <laughs> you. But we are already celebrating, Chris, all the work that you do for us. And we know that God's going to bless you in just incredible ways to do amazing things. So it is a, probably no surprise to anyone here that you are bringing a message to us this morning, except maybe you. You may be the one that's surprised, uh, but none of us are because I know that God has equipped you to do just really amazing and beautiful things. And so can we give Chris just a little round of applause for you guys? Pastor Josh for this opportunity to be the speaker for Scout Sunday. It's an honor and a privilege to stand before you today. I want to thank God. I would also like to recognize my grandmother, Reverend Dr. Veronica Brown, my grandfather, Major George Brown, United States Marine Corps retired, my little sister, Carlina, and my brother, Nick Terry Moore, who have supported me in all of my endeavors. I greet Wesley United Methodist Church's congregation and online viewers in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Father, I ask that you speak through me today. Help me to spread your word to this congregation and to anyone who may be listening. I pray that my words will resonate with the young Boy Scouts who are here this morning. Help them to understand that their membership in the Boy Scouts can open doors beyond their wildest dreams. Lord, I ask that you heal our minds today. Fill us with unspeakable joy and remove any sickness, depression, or anxiety that may be weighing us down this morning. And most of all, Lord, I ask that you heal our spirit and guide us to live your life just like Jesus did. Please help us to understand that you have a calling on our life yeah. to live right, to walk right, to sing right, to give right. Mm -hmm. I pray that you seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus right now. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. My text is taken from Philippians chapter 3, verse 12 through 14. I will read from the King James Version. It reads as follows. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after it that I may apprehend it, that for which also I am apprehended in, of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. The word of God for the people of God. Praise My subject for the message is ready, set, go. In Paul's letter to the Philippians, Paul encouraged the Gentiles to forget their past and focus on the goal ahead. However, to fully grasp the significance of Paul's words, we must first understand who Paul was before he became Paul. Paul, before he was Paul, his name was Saul. And Saul was a Pharisee who persecuted any follower of Jesus Christ. He went so far to kill anyone who followed Jesus. But after Jesus' crucifixion, Saul experienced a life-changing event. On his way to Damascus, a light was shown around him that was from heaven. And a voice that came asked him, why do you persecute me? And Saul fell to the ground and said, who are you? And Jesus said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Mm -hmm. After this encounter, Saul was, trans Saul was transformed and dedicated himself to spreading the word of God. Mm -hmm. And through that, God changed his name from Saul to Paul. Mm -hmm. 
Paul lived his life as a thief, a murderer, a persecutor, and God forgave Paul and made him his vessel. Paul's incident reminds me of the old saying, it does not matter where you come from, it's about where you finish. Right. As scouts, we are here to bring everybody from all backgrounds. Community service is not just building bridges, cooking for the elderly, helping. It's about helping people you see in need. Sit with that person that sits along at lunch, help your sibling with your homework. Community service is any way that can make someone's day better. Just like Paul, we are here to make the world better no matter our past. But to do that, we must start from somewhere. I want to divide my sermon into three parts in conjunction with my subject of ready, set, go. Ready. As Christians walking with Christ, we need to understand that there may be times when we must leave some of our problems behind. As mentioned in verse 13 of our text, forgetting those things which are behind. We must let go of our past and move forward. It's essential to realize that dwelling on our past mistakes and regrets can hinder our growth and progress in life. Therefore, we must learn to forgive ourselves, most importantly, and also forgive others just like God does for us. There's a reason why your windshield is much bigger than your rearview mirror. You must focus on what's ahead of you than look at what's behind you. Because if you're focusing on what's behind you, you get lost track. You get out of track with what's in front of you, with the cars that are going to you and the obstacles that are coming to you. My grandfather said before I can join the Boy Scouts, my grandfather said that I must memorize and understand the meaning of the Scout motto and the Scout slogan. The Scout motto is, be prepared. Being prepared for anything and everything that can or will happen. And then my grandmother and my grandfather taught me the military saying that prior planning prevents poor performance. When you plan for that camping trip, get your sleeping bag, your water, your food, everything that you would need for that camping trip, getting prepared for that merit badge, making sure you um, check off all the criteria to get that merit badge. Mm -hmm. Study for that math exam, get prepared for that new job, and now you're ready for what is to come. Yeah. The scout slogan is, do a good turn daily, not just one day, yeah. not two days, not a week, not even a year, but daily, every day. Now, we're not perfect, of course. The only perfect man that we know of is Jesus. And we're trying to get like Jesus, but if we make a, a mistake along the way, that's okay, because God has given us an open door policy with him to talk about anything that we may, may need, and we can go to him about anything of any of our problems. We serve a God that does not sleep nor slumber. We serve an almighty God who knows our weaknesses and our strengths. That's why we go to him about anything and everything, and we should not be embarrassed when it comes to God. Now that we're ready, it's time to get set. Before we can start, we must be clear on our destination. In verse 13 of our text, it said, Forgetting those things which are behind, which we've done, and press forth to those things which are before us. This reminds us of our analogy of the windshield and the rearview mirror. We should focus on the cars coming or the cars going and leaving our obstacles and everything that we have passed behind us. And we're doing that while trusting in God that he will protect us from any seen dangers and also our unseen dangers. The enemy will always try to come in between you and God have, but we have to understand that anything that the enemy does will try to get you off track. So that means forget going to the party that may not interest you. Study for that test instead. Stay home. Spend time with family. Any negative thing that comes into your mind, please remember it's the enemy. My grandmother always says to listen to that small voice in your mind. Because sometimes that big, gigantic voice in your head is the enemy trying to get you off track for what you got to do. God says to stay steadfast. We are to read this word, pray daily, treat people the way we want to be treated. Because we can't ask for God's help and out and right out doing the world doing wrong. All right. Mm. Mm. Once we get set, once we've gotten to our destination, mm. and our destination can be anything in our lives. It can be getting this it can be becoming an Eagle Scout, like myself. <laughs> it, can, it can be getting a promotion on your job, closing that business deal, yeah. or obtaining a high school diploma. Like myself. Yeah. <laughs> Getting that college degree soon. 
like myself, <laughs> and then also getting a PhD, that master's degree, anything that seems big in your mind that's a good accomplishment, and you have God that will help you get there. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible, but I'll, well, remember, the Bible says faith without works is dead. So while we can depend on God to help us, we can't sit around doing nothing because we All have right, a job yeah. to do ourselves. Now that we're ready, now that we're set, it's time to go. And verse 14 of our text, it says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Imagine you're a track star, like myself. <laughs> <laughs> the runners are ready. They're, they're focused. They're, they're grounded. Then the runner has to get set. They put their head up. They're looking if they got to do a 100 meter, a 200 meter, 300 meter. Man, meter, and God forbid, a 400 meter. <laughs> and then that gun shots, and then boom, they're off. They're running. They're running. They're not worried about if anyone passes them. They're not looking back. They're not looking down. But please remember, it is okay that if someone passes you, because it's not about if you get there first. It's about the fact that you got there. Yeah. <laughs> because we have to realize that since we got there, God was holding our hand the whole way. And once we get to our finish line, we can just say, thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you for bringing us out of that darkness. Mm -hmm. Thank you for bringing us to the light. Thank you for healing my family. Thank you for healing my body. Thank you for healing my soul. We can just say, thank you, Lord, for what he has done for our lives. Thank you for waking us up this morning, bringing us to a brand new day. Just say thank you, no matter if it was good or bad. Because sometimes you can thank the Lord for the bad things that have happened in your life. Because as my grandmother says, it could have been worse. <laughs> 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 That's why Jesus died for our sins. They whipped him all night long. They made him carry that huge cross on up to Calvary. And then once they got up to Calvary, Calvary, they stretched him wide. They pierced his side, and then he hung his head. And they thought that was the end. Of course, as we know, it was not. Because on the third day, he rose with all power in his hands. And now he sits at the right hand of our God, the Father. If we struggle along the way, it's okay. God has an open door policy. We can talk to him about anything. As small, it doesn't matter how small it may be or how big it may be. God will provide you with anything, any tool that you may need. So now that you know that God is with you, fly high, run fast, and be determined. Keep the faith in the Lord. In Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 through 14, it says, that people brought little children, and the disciples rebuked them, and Jesus said, Let the little children come, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And when he had placed his hands on them, he went on from there. As scouts, we have joined a small percentage of young men and young boys who are determined to serve their community, to serve their family. Yeah. As Christians, we have joined a small percentage of yeah. people who are determined to serve God, live our life day by day doing right. Amen. We are called to build up the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. As scouts, we are called to live our day by day by the scout oath and the scout law. A scout is trustworthy. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with your family. Be honest with your friends. A Scott is loyal. Be loyal to yourself. You know who you are. If that friend is not good for you, kick him to the curb. You are good alone. A Scott is helpful. Help those people you see in need. You see someone drop something, help them. Sometimes you have to help yourself. Study for that quiz. Sometimes it's good to stay home, watch a movie, study a little while, read a book, and not go to that party. It's okay. Stay home. Help yourself. Be courteous. Be kind. Be nice to one another. Don't say rude things in your mind. Don't say rude things to other people. Be courteous and kind. Be obedient. Do what your parents tell you to do. Please do what your parents tell you to do. Be cheerful. Go to that basketball game or football game and cheer on your friends. Cheer on yourself because if you have no friends to cheer you on, that's okay. That's why you have family. You may have that one friend along the way that will be there with you until the end. Be 50. As a future college student, I must save every penny that I get from my family or friends because college is not cheap, as they say. <laughs> Our scout is brave. Be brave. 
You may see an obstacle that may seem humongous, may seem too big for you, but sometimes you have to step into that obstacle and you will find out that that obstacle isn't as big as you thought it was. Be clean. Don't walk around with stains on your clothes. Don't walk around with your, with your uniform out of tack. Make sure your neckerchief is clean and twisted correctly and your badges are on correctly. And then don't only be clean on the outside, be clean on the inside as well. Yeah. Keep your mind clean. Keep your soul clean. Keep those negative thoughts away. And if the negative thoughts do come, my grandmother and grandfather always tell me to call on the name of Jesus oh, right because man. he is the one to remove those yeah. negative thoughts and put the big ones in. <laughs> and then now it's time for the scum oath. On my honor, you've taken an honor to do what is right. You've taken an honor to do what's good in the eyes of yourself, your family, and of God. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, yeah. to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, <laughs> mentally awake, and morally straight. We don't repeat it for the sake of memorization. Mm -hmm. It's to have a deep understanding that as scouts, we are here to build up our fellow scouts, our friends, our neighbors, and to build up ourselves. Mm -hmm. As Christians, we are here to build up ourselves, other people, and also to build up to get into the kingdom of heaven. We have to thank those along the way and to serve God. Mm -hmm. There's a song that keeps me going throughout my day, and it ties in with the sermon, and it goes like this. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name of Jesus, that precious name of Jesus, Satan, you have to flee. Oh, tell me who can stand me for us when we call on. Trust in Jesus and to take him at, at his word, but just to rest upon his promise, but and to know the same the, the Lord, cause Jesus, Jesus, oh how I trust him. Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. 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 <laughs>